It's your girl Sharon, aka the Melanin Nostalgic Runner, and I'm outside. <laughs> um, I'm actually at a lighthouse. Uh, yeah, that's a block half the people that I just showed right there. But um, yeah, the funniest thing just happened, and it was the cutest thing ever. Uh, <laughs> so I was taking a selfie getting, you know, the ambiance and all that, because I mean, the ocean, right, you know. And this lady took a picture of me, taking a picture of me. <laughs> and I can hold you. She showed me the picture. She's like, do you mind? I was like, oh, no, I look good. <laughs> she was just like, because, you know, she was like, your pose for your selfie was amazing. I'm like, yeah, <laughs> I do that. <laughs> That's the thing I do. But anyway, it was the cutest and funniest thing. And, yeah, today, um... It's kind of my first full day here, so <clears throat> I got here late. Well, I think I mentioned it yesterday in last day's, last night's video, but um, yeah. So today, I'm meeting, my, meeting some of my coworkers in person for the first time ever because I've never met some of my coworkers until today. I'm going to do that, so that's cool. Um, <clears throat> Since most of my coworkers are East Coast people, I'm like, and I'm the only one that's not. So yeah, um, we're going to meet at the Oyster Bar at three o'clock. So that's going to be cool. It's going to be just like in downtown Portland. Um, but yeah, besides that, today I ran four miles. Um, I'm not as sore as I thought I would be, but I do know the shoes I wore for my half probably gonna be getting rid of them I don't think they're coming back with me honestly because I ran just four miles in them today felt like crap <laughs> these shoes are no bueno 
and it sucks because these used to be my go-to long run shoes, the uh, rides, but maybe my stride has changed yet again um, because the Convaras feel better again. And that was my original shoe I was always using were Convaras. So I think I'm going to go back to that. Um, and I guess it's good that I did the half to figure out that those, these shoes I'm wearing are not going to work for a longer race. So there's that. Um, also, what else? Oh, I went to a coffee shop slash bakery type situation. Food was good. Um, and now I'm here. This is actually the second lighthouse I went to today. <laughs> um, cause where I'm staying at, I'm actually close to like four different lighthouses. So that's cool. So I'm going to go to one more lighthouse cause you probably saw, I actually took views of two here. I got kind of got two for one. Um, thinking I'm going to get a lobster roll for lunch and then yeah, I'm going to relax a little bit before I have to go back outside and get cleaned up because I still, um, I changed my shirt, but I ran and everything else. So I'm still kind of gross from running this morning, but yeah, so there's that. Anyway, I'm going to go to the food truck that they have here. I've been to this food truck before. I actually went to it in 2020, so I'm very familiar with it. Go walk there, get a lobster roll, and that's going to be that on that. And yes, I'm kind of walking in the parking lot right now because the way this park is kind of laid out is a little interesting, but that's neither here nor there. Anyway, bye for now. On second thought, I think I'm going to head back. Um, the line is too long, and it's already 1 o'clock, and I kind of want to take a nap, so, yeah. I think I'm going to, I'm debating whether I should go to the last lighthouse or not. Uh, I think I might, and then I'm going to take a nap after that. All of a sudden, I just kind of got tired. I do also have some leftover iced coffee in the car, too, so I'm going to have a little bit of that, too. But I guess I'm debating whether I should eat or not, just because... We're meeting up at three. I kind of wish uh, <laughs> I should not have left. She has meeting years. originally. She has meeting at a restaurant that, and I'm gonna blank her name actually just now. I didn't realize I just said her name, but she has meeting at a restaurant that's closed on a Sunday. I'm like, girl, do you Google? <laughs> but anyway, neither here nor there. I'm looking forward to the meetup, and we'll see how things go. my channel it's your girl Sharon aka the Milan Nostalgic Runner and we are actually back for another seeing things differently it is my final day well final full day here I leave tomorrow early tomorrow morning so I'm counting this as like kind of the last day basically and um so you probably saw some of the pictures and um, I'm gonna add more as I talk about things but just as a recap Yesterday was a fun day. Um, so what I did end up doing was actually got to finally, um, there's a couple of final things happen, finally things happen. So one of the finally things, which was kind of a big deal for me personally, and I kind of kept it to myself because um, I just wanted to make sure I did it um, before I, you know, made anything about it. Because I wasn't gonna put pressure on myself. Either it was gonna get done or it wasn't. There was gonna be no happy medium. 
And one of the things was, there's a lighthouse um, that I went to back in 2020. And what's interesting and quite cool about this lighthouse is it has all these rocks. And it's really close to the Airbnb where I'm staying at right now. And it has these rocks that are like, that's the only way to get to the lighthouse is through the rocks. So you basically have to basically have to like step on rocks, but the rocks are not, I mean, they're lighthouse rocks. They're not, there's chance where you could fall in the water. And there's chance that you could fall in between the rocks, depending on, you know, your height, size, and all that good stuff. Um, so it's not really safe. <laughs> it's one of those things you have to be very careful about doing. Um, it's allowed, um, and it's a thing. And I wasn't the only one who was doing it who was kind of freaking out as they were doing it. Anyway, but once you get there, it's really, really cool because you're kind of in the middle of the ocean. I mean, you're kind of in the ocean without being in the water and being on a boat. So it's kind of neat, you know, it was one of my little bucket list things. So my ex did it during the pandemic um, and I chickened out. I got halfway through it and I got, I totally freaked out. And I partially, cause it was a really windy day, but yesterday was windy too and I did it anyway. Um, but I think part of it was, I just kind of, looking back, I didn't feel safe with that person. Um, Cause I don't remember if that happened before or after I fell right behind him on the trail because he left me. Cause he kept leaving me while we were hiking together. And ironically, when I hike and do stuff by myself, I don't have these problems. <laughs> it's only if I'm with other people. I don't know if I guess just get distracted, things happen. But anyway, um, I, this isn't about that, but the, the, the deal is I actually did it and I touched the lighthouse. I was next to it. Um, some other people who also had a similar thing going on, not quite circumstances, but they did the same thing. Super proud. Of them. And look at this, by the way, it's my preface. Um, but yeah, so that was a big deal. I was happy I got that done. And it's another thing I got to rewrite. Cause my whole thing is I got to rewrite some of these things. <laughs> I know that's kind of messed up. Maybe it isn't. I don't know. But like if I've been somewhere with someone and we're no longer together, and we're no longer even cool. The history has to get rewritten. Yeah. Just saying. By the way, <clears throat> sandwich I just had was banging. Um, I'll tell you about where I got that from and all that too soon. Um, and I'll put the pictures in there too as I'm talking about it. So anyway, um, but after I went to, um, did that, then I met up with my coworkers and we went to um, a restaurant that I've been to before. It's the Oyster Bar. And I didn't know, um, originally they picked the place, but the place that they picked was closed. So we couldn't go to that. So we ended up going to this um, Oyster Bar instead. I ate all the oysters. I had like a dozen. I had a dozen oysters. Also had a crab bun, um, but like on the, like kind of like a Vietnamese bun situation. I think I had that last time I was here actually, now I think about it as well. And the potato arrangement thing. I think I had that last time too. And it was very, very good. Had two glasses of wine. And then from there, um, I so I met with three co two coworkers, but one of the coworkers left early. The other one who, is my work bestie she knows who she is um we decided then from there let's go somewhere else because she's staying in downtown so she's like i can get lit you know i'm kid free let's let's go do some things and i was like well i drove so i can't do too much but i can do a little bit so we ended up then going to um like a brew house thing and tried some beers. Um, she is not a beer person, but they had something for her, so it was fine. Um, I ba basically did like a flight, but didn't drink all the flight. I just wanted to try some of them. Like I actually did the respectable thing when you try flights, but you don't drink at all, because I just kind of wanted to decide which ones I wanted. Um, and then I had a glass of like a regular um, beer. And then after that, as we're socializing, hanging out, I switched to NA beer. I was like, okay. No more alcohol for me. Switch to the NA beers. 
And side note, I love that NA beers are a thing. I love that NA culture, like non-alcoholic culture is a thing. Mocktails and all that. It is such a relief. Like, you can still hang out with your friends, but you don't feel pressure to, like, have to still be drinking and stuff. Um, and I will say this. Part of my thing has never really been peer pressure. I think partially yes, but partially not really. It's more or less I just like alcohol. I like drinking, but um, I think I've mentioned before on um, one of my other videos, the uh, Get Fit With Me presents accountability. I'm kind of getting over that. Like, I'm just kind of, it's phasing. It's a part of my life that's starting to phase out. Like, I'm just not into it anymore. But of course, I love my friends and all that. And I love to be, I want to be included in the things. So, <sighs> it's great. And I had this really, really good sour and a sour, and that sour was so good so good it was like a strawberry sour situation and I probably should have went I kind of am thinking about going back to get it to bring back because it was good <laughs> it was like a strawberry sour it was so good um but anyway we ended up talking for hours and um so we met like at three and then we got you know done and I ended up getting being on by like nine um so it was, it was a pretty long day And that's after hopping both the lighthouses and all that too. So I pretty much made a big full day yesterday. So today is going to be a little bit more of a chill day because it is my final day here. I don't want to be tired. Um, I get back home early. I get back home like at 9 a.m. So I want to be able to go back to doing business as usual stuff once I get home. Like I'm going to clean up the place a little bit and then I am going to be gonna go to the gym and all the other things and probably go grocery shopping too because Kwai's is kept I don't think I have any groceries and I think I need some um <clears throat> so we're gonna do all that while I get back um trying to think what else oh the other thing was so this morning I slept in and I was gonna run today and I just decided I'm not going to because the main thing actually is the running shoes that I brought with me thinking they would work for long distance, they don't. They don't even work for like short distance. I ran yesterday four miles and my feet were not happy with me. Like they, they're done. And they're newer shoes. Like I did not, like they're not new, new where I haven't broken them in yet. They've, they've been broken in. They were, I timed it where they should work. And they just don't. They're not. And I think my running gait and all that has changed yet again. But I think also, too, even though the scale doesn't say it, I think I have um, lost some weight um, as far as... I've lost inches. There we go. Because I that doesn't make any sense. I lost some inches. So I think my running gait has switched over yet again. So the shoe that I needed for more support when I was heavier, I think I no longer need it. I think I can go back to the Canvara's. And the other shoes I've been running in faithfully, um, because I've been switching between the two shoes, was those and the um, Canvara's. And I, sh I, I, something told me I should have brought the Canvara's instead. And I went against that. And yeah, we're gonna try them out um, later this week to see if they'll work. Cause I do have to do, I think a 10 miler. So I'm going to see if they work for that. And then if they don't work for that, then I don't know. Well, I brought another pair of shoes besides Canvara's. I brought, okay. So I brought a second pair of Canvara's and the same ones I already have. And then I brought a trail version of those shoes. Um, and I'm going to try them both and see if they work. And the thing is about the 50 K that I'm doing, there are drop stations. So I can switch out the shoes if I need to. But I'm pretty sure I can do the distance in 10 miles. Because I think I have ran those Canvara's with the 10 miles. So there's that. So yeah. Um, yeah. I'm try I was going to leave them here. But I don't think I want to do that. Because I think I might get... I don't know. I, mean, I was going to check to see if maybe they have like a drop station where I can drop. You know where you can give away like spare shoes and stuff like that. Maybe I can see if they have a running store around here. If they do, do they do that? Because I just don't even want to bring them back. I'm done with these shoes. I do not like them. Um, just because yesterday when I ran, they 
it did not feel good. Um, so anyway, there's that. Um, what else? Oh, the other, that's the reason why I didn't run today. Um, and so then after that, I went to this place called Matcha Mood. And this is that. And you're probably wondering, what are you drinking? It is strawberry matcha and it's so good. So, so, so good. And I'm actually about to go on a walk soon. So instead of running, I am going to go on a walk because I do have my casual walking shoes with me, um, which I should buy another pair of those too because I love these shoes. Um, and I don't want those to ever go away because they're actually, yeah, I like the shoes a lot. Um, so I'm probably going to, so I'm going to do that. And then after I do that, then the plan is I'm going to go to Shipyard Brewing Company um, and probably bring something back from there. Um, and then I saw, uh, I saw the Oxbow's close by, so I'm going to also go and see if I can get something from, from Oxbow. And then from there, then I'm going to go to the lobster um, restaurant for a late lunch because I am eating a late breakfast, but... I've been trying to stay on central time because I just don't want to switch over to eastern time too much. Um, I like that I am waking up earlier again because this is what I've been trying to do all summer and it just wasn't working. Um, and hopefully I can bring this habit back with me when I get back because I used to be more of a morning person. This used to be like a normal thing. And then I used to be able to get my runs and everything done and over with all before noon. And then I will take a nap. And after that, I will go about my day. And I need to get back to that habit. And um, I just haven't, I don't know why, I just haven't, it hasn't been working for me lately. But that is the plan. And then after I go to the lobster place, and I'll come back here, try to get some more stuff done. Um, probably start putting, putting stuff in the car so that I can just, you know, leave first thing in the morning. And then, um, I think I might try the place that Tanya, I'm sorry, that my coworkers, I gotta get that out of there. Um, uh, my coworkers wanted, um, to go to yesterday. I'm going to try to go today because they're, they're, they're open today. They were closed yesterday. Um, so, and it's right by the water and yeah, that's pretty much it though. But yeah, that's it. I'll stop talking from the kitchen of the Airbnb and head on out. I started this kind of weird but anyway um so <laughs> I just came from a brewery um and I am not going to another one <laughs> I was thinking about it but like I can't go to another one if I go to another one they have to be able to do the mix thing because unfortunately the place I went to was not able to do the mix deal it's called uh, the brewery's name is called Lone Pine um brewery and I just wanted to go somewhere where it's not the obvious place to go when it comes to breweries. Because I feel like all like my brew friends go to the same. Like, they go to a lot of similar things. Or, like, you know, the obvious. I'm like, no, 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 no. <laughs> Mang is known for beer. That's, like, literally their deal. That's, like, one of their main mini deals. Like, Portland, Maine is the original Portland. And I feel like people keep forgetting that. <laughs> So if you want to look for fun, different things, you can find it here. That's just what it is. And I knew that because I've been here before. But, like, I feel like people, a lot of my friends have never really been here before. Or they've only been here for a little bit and not a long time. So I am bringing back a lot of beer, guys. I just hope y'all know that. <laughs> um, and so that's why these running shoes can't come with. <laughs> That's partially why, but also too, you already heard from what I said before, but also too, I really wanted to buy all four, but I just knew I wasn't going to be able to bring it all, so I brought just the two, 
and they come in four packs. So I got managed to somehow maneuver that in there. And I'm not drinking any more beer. Like, I'm not drinking it here. Because, yeah, I really wanted to share. So that's what I'm going to do. Um, also, another fun fact that you guys probably didn't realize I didn't know. Um, downtown Portland, you don't have to pay for parking on Sundays. I found that out. And then the other thing, another fun fact is, for those who are in the Chicagoland area, particularly Evanston, they use the same parking app and same parking um, system as Evanston, which is a Chicago suburb that's kind of part of Chicago in a way, is where Northwestern's located. But like, they literally use the same app. So if you have that app, you can use that for your rent a car. So that's what I did. And so, yeah, I added, I didn't have to add anything. I just put my rental car's information in there and I'm parked for two hours. So just FYI, just wanted to kind of give you some cool pro tips. Um, also too, I did do a two mile walk on that trail and the trail had three different trails, saw a cruise ship. I, I need to make another in the future, I'm going to make a trip specifically just to Portland, Portland only, and be here for five days because there's just so much cool stuff here. And I just wish I would have given it more time and I didn't do that. And then even thing, even Bar Harbor, same thing. I need to just do Bar Harbor for like five days and give that time. The, the going from one to the other, it's becoming team too much. I think when I was younger, it was easier but now that I kind of have an idea of how things go, and I did it mainly because I just didn't know what to expect, so I just kind of did a little bit of everything to figure out what I like. And now between the two, I know what I like, I know what I can do for one thing versus the other thing. So if I want a certain vacation, I'll go to this one, or if I want a different type of vacation, I'll go to this one. Because they're two completely different feels when it comes to Maine. Um, and different cultures, different everything. So it just depends on what you're looking for. Similar to Puerto Rico when I did the same thing. I kind of figured out what I liked, but it took me the one time to figure it out. This time, it was a little odd because when I did it back in 2020, nothing was open, so I didn't really have a true feel. But now that it's outside, outside, now I know which ones I like. I did that in California too. I wanted to figure out which things I like. And yeah, that's pretty much it. But anyway, I'm about to go get some lobster rolls. <laughs> As you can see, I am back home. So hopefully you enjoy the vlog. Um, so the pictures, let me just kind of recap how the rest of the day went. So I actually ended up only going to like one other brewery. So I went to total two breweries throughout, pardon me, my time there. And I brought nine beers back. Like, you know, the one larger beer and then the um, two four packs. And I think people are going to really like the two four packs. Like they're really, really good. I also got, um, I got I, brought, I got a couple other souvenirs too that was kind of nice like um, another magnet cause I can never you can never have enough magnets for a fridge um, also to um, what else did I get oh and then the care package that the Airbnb people got me oh that reminds me I okay so I'm back um yeah so I'm yeah I'm dressed to run today because I am gonna run today because I did not run yesterday and I'm debating whether or not I should go to the gym today. I might just like not go to the gym today and go to the gym tomorrow and then go to the gym on Thursday and Saturday. I think that's the game plan. Um, but yeah, I'm just not, uh, I don't know. Maybe I'll take a nap. I'll feel better. I'll just, and I'll go to the gym. But anyway, so back to the whole thing so after I went to the brewery and after I went and got um, the lobster flight that you saw in the picture there 
Um, I did end up resting and basically packing up and stuff because, I mean, that's just what has to happen. Zero, what's going on? Okay. <laughs> My cats are extremely happy that I'm back. Um, side note, cat sitter, amazing. She did a great, great job. Like, um, yeah. Anyway, so, but besides that, then after afterwards, I actually was going to go back to downtown Portland, but decided, you know what, like, let me find something closer, because I honestly was tired and just did not really want to do any more driving. Also, not just the driving part, but also the fact that I already filled up my gas tank for the rental car, so I'm just ready to just take it to the airport. So I didn't really want to drive. But, so I actually found out, and I'm, I'm kind of upset because I found out on the last day, but now I know whenever I do decide to come back um, that the Airbnb is still doing Airbnbs over there, that I could just stay over there and then just do this. But there was a restaurant that was legit walking distance that was right off the pier. Um, I did not get there on time to get the, like, the, the look and feel. But basically, you would have been able to see the sunset on the water. Like, it was basically a water, um, an upscale waterfront restaurant. And I had one last lobster roll. I also had three oysters. So I did my, I got my oysters and lobsters in. Um, and then I finally did the thing that, um, so yesterday was a day where I finally did the blueberries. I was all about doing blueberries, blueberries, blueberries. Mainly because I found out on the last day, by the way, 95% of the blueberries in the United States come from Maine. So blueberries is like a thing. That's like, so basically if you're Michigan, for those who are not familiar, if you're, if you're from, if you're, if you go to Michigan, they're cherries. Um, Wisconsin's cheese. Um, I don't know if they have any other like, fruits or vegetables at the I think they also do the cherry thing too because it's kind of like the Lake Michigan effect um but like the Door County area basically and then um here it's pumpkins um pumpkin is a thing here like um and I'm not really a pumpkin girl even though I did get pumpkin beer side note but that's neither here nor there but yeah anyway so the last meal was amazing and the reason why I'm kind of disappointed because if I would have had more time, whoop, I would have got their much larger um, meal that they had, but I was not going to be able to bring anything back. They had like this stuffed lobster. And I mean, this is huge. It's, it's, it's too big for like, like I probably could eat it after running a marathon and clean it up. No problem. But that'll be per pretty much the only time where I think I'll be able to just clean it up. But, um, yeah, I, I knew I couldn't bring anything back because I was leaving early, early in the morning, which is why also I didn't film before I got back because I was at the airport like at five something. Like it was so early and really, again, I've been trying to stay on central time. It's really for something. Um, but yeah, that. The trip was really good. I'm not going to do a separate video on the whole trip because um, I've kind of been trying to give you play-by-play -play as things go. Um, I did not get to really do a play-by-play -play of running the half like I wanted to um, because I, you know, I changed my mind and decided to run with someone who would have been running by himself otherwise. So I'm glad with that decision and that's how that went. But overall, it was a good trip. Um, will I come back? Yes. Will be soon. Um, not so sure yet. I don't think so. There's just too many other places I still want to go visit. Like, I still need to visit Belize. I still need to visit other Caribbean islands. Uh, I want to visit. I want to go to Europe. Um, I want to go to. I want to go to quite a few European countries. I want to go to Canada. Um, but like not the typical stereotypical places ago. Um, so yeah, there's just a lot that I need to do still. So that, that's a thing. Anyway, um, if you're wondering what I'm doing, look who's right here. She's never far away. Ever. Anyway. 
that does conclude the video and conclude my vlog, seeing things differently for Maine. Um, please like, comment, subscribe to the channel if you get anything out of the content. Oh, by the way, it's Acadia. I know a lot of times in the video I said Arcadia, it's like a hor A lot of people do it, and um, that's not how you say it. <laughs> and I know it's not how you say it. Like, I've I just, it's just a habit. But anyway, please like, comment, subscribe to the channel if you get anything out of the content. It's your girl Sharon, aka the Melon and Nostalgic Runner. I will see you next time. Bye. Send the rocks across the